So when I look at consumer marketing today and I think about how important content is, I'm actually very glad to have that background that is focused on the meaning of the message and about creating conversations and not just about what marketers have typically focused on. You know, we, we try to sway, to motivate, to convince. We had a linear consumer journey and we tried to influence them all along the way on that journey. Well, now it's a circle and the consumer is dipping in and out of the circle and we need to be able to engage with them. Because the first time that somebody complained to us in 140 characters and it happens and tweeted that their coffee was cold instead of calling downstairs and talking to a human being, we knew we needed to change the way we talked with our consumers. We knew that we were facing a new reality. And then, of course, there was the AIG effect. If you, if, if you Google this still today, as I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of pages come up, it was a really bad thing for Four Seasons. Um, I don't know if you can see some of the headlines. Luxury isn't cool anymore is pretty much the sum of it, right? It wasn't cool to stay at a luxury hotel. It wasn't cool to be associated with a brand like Four Seasons. And that's really hard for a brand like ours. I mean, we have a I think a, a sterling reputation, something that we've carefully burnished over the course of our 50-year history. And suddenly, people were not staying with us, not because they didn't love Four Seasons anymore, but because perception had become a different kind of thing. So you bring all these things together, the way that people were changing, the way they were marketing, uh, the way they were talking to us was changing, the way that we needed to market to them was changing. And this is kind of how we felt. It was a really, really um, interesting time for us. And so in 2009, we made a very conscious decision to start shifting our marketing dollars over to digital. And when I say digital, you know, it's, it covers a broad swath. It, that's about our website, that's about social media, that is about communicating with our customers via uh, email versus you know, a beautiful little brochure that you'd get in the mail. But it was really something that we needed to think about. Now, the good news for us is luxury today is in a much different place than it was in 2009. We like to say that luxury is back. We um, actually launched our website at the beginning of this year. And in conjunction with that, we did a, a digital trend report. We wanted to see how the affluent were using digital. Now, for those of you who may not have that affluent consumer as a target audience, a target uh, market, it's really interesting. A lot of times people ask me, well, are they affluent? Do they really care about social media? Are they, you know, are they on Facebook? Are they tweeting? Yes, they are, and they're, they're doing that in big numbers, which I'll show you in a second. But branding is definitely moving to the social sphere. And again, this is a, as it relates to the affluent consumer. E-commerce is king. There's no question that more and more people are becoming very comfortable making really big purchase decisions online putting their credit card out there, and it's not for a book um, from Amazon, but it's actually a significant purchase. And then the rise of the iPad is really about the rise of mobile, right? It's not just about tablets, it's about everything. We've heard a lot about that today. So really what that comes down to for me as a marketer and as I think about what Four Seasons is doing is that it is really a focus on content marketing. It is really a focus on creating meaningful content for consumers that not just tells them our story, but lets them get involved in the story. I mean, content marketing is the new black, I think, as, as we're seeing, because it is really a buzzword that we're hearing a lot about now, right now. But what does that mean um, for a brand like ours? So this is the, uh, some of the stats I was talking about. Hard to read, probably, from where you're sitting. I just want to call out a couple of things that are quite interesting. And when we think about social media, we tend to think of the usual channels, the Twitters, the Facebooks, Pinterest, uh, whatever, YouTube. But actually, review sites are also incredibly important for this audience. And so what we know about our consumer is that 80% of the affluent will read online reviews versus a 25% industry average. So when we talk about a 25% industry average, what I mean by that is if that's everybody in the universe who's staying at a hotel period, doesn't matter whether it's mid-market, budget, luxury. 25% of the universe of, of hotel stayers look at review sites, 80% of the affluent do. And 49% of them will not stay at a hotel that does not have a review of some sort online. What's interesting about that is, you know, as, as they say, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Actually, for our guests, for the Four Seasons customer, personal recommendations and word of mouth has always been the single most important driver and the most important reason that they choose to stay with us. 
what this does is it just validates for us is that that, that truism is still apparent, but now they have many more places and many more channels to go to.